Both the birds no longer there, is it? Nope. Awesome. Oh, yes, it is. Thank God. Just took a very long time to pop in. Hello? Same type of Fire hazard. I'm assuming it's the exact same type of cat I photographed before and that's why it's not letting me. Yeah. Oh, oh here's another one. Uh, why have I seen another dog? Oh, I don't pay attention to the dogs. Isn't there a dog? Uh and leeway. I don't remember, I don't remember, I don't remember. Actually, there's one outside the city, isn't there? Yeah, right here. Oops, how sad is it that I recall where the bloody dogs are in this game? <laughs> or the animals for that matter. Oh, God, I'm so irritated about those instructions. It's just stupid. Gather pearls and star conches. Jesus. Okay. Well, the pearls can only be attained in an Azuma around Matatsumi. So let's just go straight to the ground. It's probably the quickest way to get them. You said three? Okay. Pearls, 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 pearls. Um, are they in like clam things? Does anyone remember what it looks like? It's been way too long since I was here. And star conches it should be any beach, right? Or does it have to be a particular beach? It should be any body of sand, right? Right? Maybe I'm wrong about this. I didn't see a single star conch. Actually, I know where I find them. Anyway. Along here, right? Isn't that where I normally come across the star conches? I don't remember. I should just read the instructions, eh? Remembering, it's entirely possible. I don't usually pay attention. And I'm not seeing any at present, so probably not here then. Yeah, to you too. Did I see any along the Fontanian beaches? I don't remember. Where's one over there? Third? Yeah. Can't see one. Mm. <laughs> Ugh, it's not gonna be near him. That's cute. Just trying to shoot the thing in front of me, but for sure. Ah, there's number three. Oh, 
Okay, you're done, which means we can do all of this, right? Great. Poor Jacques. I have all the things. Take them off my hands, please. Hello. No, I want to decorate oh, the really? menu. You've got the things from the list? Apparently. Great, I'll take those. Thanks so much. Okay, take that. Nah, nah. This isn't gonna be any Prama gems though. Sad face. Oh god. I don't know about the thing in the back. I don't know about this. It looks kinda silly. But the rest is fine. Just Thank you both so much. At last, everything on the list is done. You're I'm welcome. afraid I still have some final preparations to make, but I'll see you tomorrow. Then the party can begin. Are you insinuating this took me four days? Probably took me longer in game days. Oh, I had to do this for the next quest. I see. Usually I like I like to break up the mini games with the quests, but uh, kind of makes sense, I suppose. Yay, an acquaint fate. <laughs> I don't know why I bothered getting excited for that. Ah, you can get to God or Oh, there's only two quests? Oh man, that's amazing. It's so short. That's fantastic. Where are you, buddy? Oops. No, it's still not right. That one there. Okay, let's get this quest over and done with. I did not mark it as my active quest. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now I have. I have to wait till the next day. Okay, can do. Did it say 2 p.m.? I wasn't. Compadres, you're here! Hey, serious props to you both. This place looks amazing! Even better than I'd imagined! <laughs> <sighs> Everything looks perfect. We're ready for business. Traveler, Paimon, you have our thanks. You still don't have much in the way of guests, my friends. Guys, guys, why so serious? That ain't rock and roll, man! Hey, look at that! My favorite melon's a fast learner! Also, I hear you're gonna be taking the stage tonight. Whoa, itching for a little competition, Oh, huh? I really hope she doesn't. Uh, Paimon uh, was just joking. <sighs> Seriously, Dvorak? Unbelievable. That's what happens when you joke around like that, Paimon. Getting cold feet? Ah, don't blame you. I am the reigning champion of the great sing-along, after all. Oh, Paimon, backing down from a challenge ain't very rock and roll. Oh, what? Then bring it on. I'm with her. Oh, Paimon's bringing it all right. Paimon's bringing it all the way home. Ha! Yeah, anyway, by the way, did you ever find that dog? Ah, we hit a complete dead end. Goro said he didn't know anything. Mamaru and the guys asked around the city, but no luck there either. What if it really is in Tenshukaku? Is that why we uh, can't find it? What? <laughs> why would it be in Tenshukaku? Oh, no, no, don't. Go poking around Tenshukaku again? You'll give Kujo Sara a migraine! Couldn't agree more. If I bother her too much, I'll end up getting struck by lightning. So that's why this time, I kept my distance and just threw some paper notes towards Tenshukaku. Hopefully, the Raiden Shogun sees them and hands the dog over. Why would A even have a dog? And why would A listen to you? Wait, what? You're still a big risk there! It looks like Doshin Shikanoin was right. It's probably just a local legend after all. I don't even think it's a local legend. That presupposes that locals know about it, but locals don't know about it. Like, one person has mentioned it and that's it. 
Well, let's hope not, because that would really suck. Wish I had more time to look into it, but unfortunately, this guy's got a performance to practice for. Now don't forget, there's lyrics and music scores in the jam zone, so no wussing out tonight. Don't get too cocky, Bullchucker. We'll see who's rock and roll. Neither of you. <laughs> Game on, Mini Melon! Oh, Paimon better get some practice in at the jam zone soon. No way is Paimon gonna lose to Ito! Oh, by the way, we invited a ton of people this time. Including some people you know. A few have already shown up and they're asking about you. Wanna go say hi? Is Bailey anybody oh, cool. here? Yeah, let's go see them! Paimon's curious to find out who you invited. Here's Hazel, Yumi and Toma, and Kakumi and Goro. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Hey, there you are. I sent you some letters a few days ago. Have they shown up yet? Yeah, they did, literally a minute after I spoke to you. Ooh, does this mean you figured it out? I've made some progress, but I'm still missing the final piece of the puzzle. So what did you learn? I don't have anything conclusive yet. But I have a hunch that it involved both the Yashiro Commission and Sanganamiya. You already told me that. What? You mean like in cahoots during the war? Shh. Like I said, it's just a hunch. Let's not get carried away. Anyway, I've written to the station, and they shouldn't take too long to get back to me. Yuriki Iwata should be able to help find Wait, what I need. Wait, is this Saku? Sayu? 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 I think it's Sayu. In the meantime, you'll just have to be patient. I would have gone back to the station to look into it myself, but I knew Ito was performing tonight, and I didn't want to miss you it. Who else is performing tonight? Bye, Mom! Oh, wow! Sounds like I'm in for a real treat. I definitely picked the right place to be tonight. Will the Traveler's long-serving voice finally graduate from speech to song in a triumphant victory over the Oni Rocker of Hana Mizaka? Don't encourage her. They don't call a flying rock and roll fuel for nothing. <laughs> I'll be awaiting with bated breath. Cut it out, both of you! No more stupid nicknames! You're the one who does stupid nicknames, Paimon. It's called Karma. Sayu, Sayu, Sayu! Strange Daruma. Pet head. Oh, does she sleep because she wants to grow? <laughs> what if I poke her in the face? <laughs> oh, that's oh, not what I wanted. Please do not touch the Dharma. Wait, did it say it was a staff member? It is not a staff member, okay. This Miss Hina looks very familiar. Even the outfit. <sighs> I was thinking the same thing, Your Excellency, but I just can't put my finger on it. She really is the spitting image. Of who? Goro, uh. Kokomi, hey! Oh, hello, you two. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you again. I was just asking Shinobu if she knew where you were. This is a nice surprise. Paimon didn't expect to run into you two at an Arataki Gang music festival. Uh, I mean, they kind of... They're obligated to attend because it's on the, their island, you know, right across from the ho home. <laughs> I haven't got to help to get the venue. Oh, I barely did anything. A reader for my That's Life column was asking for advice about it, so I figured I'd help out. Turned out the reader in question was Mr. Arataki Ito. You have a column? In what? The Steambird? Her Excellency was also very supportive of the whole thing. Mm. An international rock and roll music festival sounded like a good way to attract tourists. And it's to bring attention to the plight of living things, right? Seems like a meaningful cause. I would actually argue that in this fantasy world, classical music from each region would bring more people. Yeah, apparently it has something to do with a dog that was a war hero? Although sadly probably not a true story. Have either of you heard anything about that? Oh, you know, bits and pieces. Nothing concrete. Hmm, yeah, no, me neither. Hmm, those sounded suspiciously like prepared answers. All I did was say no. 
There wasn't much to their answers for it to be suspiciously prepared. <laughs> Probably because we've answered that question before. Mr. Arataki Ito came to ask us about it a while back. We'd certainly love to help if we can. Yes, of course. Um, <clears throat> actually, I was hoping to ask for your opinion on something. Yeah? Does Miss Hina look familiar to you at all? I have this strange feeling like I've seen her somewhere before. Doesn't... <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh! Um... I feel like I've met her before, but... But you don't remember where? Ah, uh, she probably just looks similar to someone you know! Like how the Traveler looks similar to her brother! That's good There's genetics. Here. Don't overthink it. Ah, I see. Well, that does make sense. Traveler, let's get out of here! No. Why isn't Yamiko here, by the way? Why isn't she here? Oh, you're a real trooper, Yoimiya. This must be one of the furthest places you've ever delivered to. Ah, delivered to. It's about to say she went to Samaria, dude, but she didn't deliver there. She just went there on holiday. I promised Ito that I'd supply fireworks for his festival. I wasn't about to go back on my word. Hey, Toma, Yoimiya. Traveler, Paimon. Cool, you're here too. It's been too long. <laughs> well, looks like I owe the Arataki gang a huge thank you. If they weren't putting on this event, who knows when I would have gotten to see you next. <laughs> you hear that? In case it was too subtle for you, Toma is complaining that you guys never make time to come and visit your old pals. Because she is busy. She doesn't have time to continually travel to old lands and then back to the current land when she's supposed to be progressing forwards to find her brother. Oh, that's true. Obviously, traveling is very important to you, but you gotta take a break every once in a while. Just remember that you've got friends out there that would love nothing more than the chance to make you feel looked after. I came out of nowhere. Thank you both. That means a lot. Of course. Oh, I heard this really cool thing I gotta share with you guys. So, Ito says that the theme of his music festival comes from a story about a dog that saved animals in the war zone. How amazing is that? What do you know about this dog, Toma? Everyone knows how well connected you are. <laughs> For once... Not much, I'm afraid. I guess my connections are one key canine short, but assuming this really happened, I feel like Watatsumi Island would have had to be involved. Why? This is a dog who managed to sneak in and out of a war zone, repeatedly, without leaving a trail for anyone to follow. Whatever the case, it would have needed someone to help cover its tracks. It could just be a really crafty dog. And if someone's covering its tracks, why are you assuming it would be Watatsumi Island? As far as I know, the Shogun's army doesn't do that kind of thing. Well, it's not the army, it's individuals. So yeah, an individual in her army absolutely could. So you're saying it was the Sanganomiya troops? They had a specially trained dog for rescuing critters from the battlefield? Seems kind of stupid. Sounds kind of far-fetched if you ask me. Not what I used. Do we really think Sanganomiya's forces had enough manpower to fight a full-scale war and run a... a a what? A canine wildlife rescue operation on the side? Okay, well if it wasn't Song on Amiya's side, it must have been the Shogunate! What if it was a neutral third party? I doubt they had the manpower either. Right. So, in my view, it's more likely that Mr. Dvorak simply made the story up as something to capture people's imaginations. Agreed. I mean, he's an artist, right? Isn't rock music about expressing things we don't fully understand? Kinda like fireworks in a way. Uh, don't question it, just feel it. No. Yeah, that sort of makes sense. That makes you an artist too, Yoimiya! Fireworks are your art. <laughs> I'll take it. And on that note, boy, do I have an art show for you tonight. Make sure you don't miss it. I oh, didn't realize so to. many people we know would be here. Better get practicing or tonight could be super embarrassing. Go to the gem zone to look Come for on, the Rorschach. Come on, let's the gem zone. Yeah, but that's not where my, my marker on the map is taking me. Oh, it does swing back around, okay. Hey, Mr. Dvorak, you're still here! Sure am. I've been checking over the equipment, scores, and lyric sheets to make sure everything's ready for tonight. Shinobu was telling me how popular light novels are here in Inazuma, so I've tweaked the melody and lyrics for a more Arataki gang feel with a light novel twist. But doesn't that make it not rock and roll? Light novels plus rock music, so... Light rock! 
<laughs> I actually didn't change too much. Just took out the dog and made it about oh Onikabuto God. instead. Should be more up Ito's alley. We're not here to pander to his whims, damn it. We're here for the people who attended. This event couldn't have happened without him. It's my way of showing him some appreciation, I guess. What? You got rid of the dog? But wasn't that the whole inspiration behind the festival? Yes, but that's all it was. The initial inspiration. Doesn't matter if we change it to an Onikabuto or you or me or anything else. It's the spirit of it that counts. Spirit? What do you mean? Um, the spirit of rock and roll? Okay, should have seen that coming. Uh, yeah. Do you think people have gotten have been getting too hyper-focused on the dog's story? <laughs> it's all about the music, my friends. Just enjoy the music. That's all that matters. Ah, fair enough. All right, well, speaking of enjoying music, is it all right if Paimon goes first? Paimon's got to get practicing or Bullchucker's going to hog the spotlight tonight. By all means, be my guest. I knew you'd come around to the idea of going on stage. Here's the music score and lyrics. I can't wait to see this. She's singing. Oh, my God. <sighs> Let's see now. What's this song called? I got reincarnated as an Onikabuto and flipped the world upside down. Oh, my God. What sort of song title is that? Is this supposed to be rock and roll? Soft rock, actually. I gotta see these lyrics. No, no peeking. You can hear them tonight when Paimon sings the song. Paimon's gonna rock so hard, Bullchucker won't know what hit him. I don't want to hear Paimon sing. It sounds too traumatic. The time flies by and night soon falls. Music lovers take turns showcasing their talent on the stage. Whoops and cheers ring out as the crowd grows louder and the atmosphere gets wilder. For you know it, the moment has arrived. Paimon or Ito? That is the smallest, saddest crowd I've ever seen in a music festival. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is a night to celebrate, and I trust you're all having a wonderful time. It's been a non-stop rock and roll ride this evening, and we're almost at the end. But first, it is my huge honor to invite two very special guests to the stage. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. They need to make separate versions of this game for mobile and PC. Yeah, mobiles are pieces of shit and you can't do much with their crappy computing power and you get this as a result. That's fine. But give us extra texture pass up, uh, like downloads, so that for PC players, we can get this shit full of people. It can actually feel like a concert. Stop punishing us for people playing this game on their shit devices. Give us what our computers are capable of running. Crowds. The illustrious Annoying. Mr. Orotaki Ito. We're in what, year four? Five? Four. Definitely four. And we still can't get multiple people on screen at the same time. It's frustrating. And Miss Paimon. The two of them will be performing a brand new song written specially for tonight's event. It's called, I Got Reincarnated as an Onikabuto and Flipped the World Upside Down. Take it away. They're performing together? It's a ballad? I thought it was more of an action piece. Raven took an arrow to the heart And the Bakedanuki shapeshifted into dark Beef hereby bequeath a my mora Two hundred goes to my pa Three hundred to dear mama <laughs> Poor yeah. little General Crab Only a shell remains Unagi goodbye <laughs> Now rest in peace Please don't cry. Cause we'll get reborn as a beetle next time. Only cover to raise your heart. Here's to a world beyond the storm. A frosty sky. Is Ethos voice actor a classical singer? Cause the control over those notes, holy shit. And the depth to the tone. 
kind of was as terrible as I expected. After an exhilarating song to end the night, many people begin to leave. But you and your friends approach the stage to congratulate the two rock stars. What fucking part of that was rock? It was a ballad. There wasn't any, like, actual rock involved with it. It wasn't even a rock ballad. It was just a ballad. So that's rock music, huh? It isn't. It's a little different than I imagined. There is nothing rock about what you just heard, Yumiya. Really? It's different from what I'd heard before. Could be a relatively new genre of rock, I suppose. No, man, it's just not rock, period. So, how'd you like my performance? Did I dominate this little melon here or what? You most certainly <laughs> did because you can sing and she can't. Okay, Bull Chugger, you got owned and you... Oh, stop it, you two. I think both of you are sensational. Wow, way to not pick a side, Yumiya. Here, here. <laughs> really mind-blowing stuff, guys. I call it a draw. You're very evenly matched. Do you guys need your ears checked? Ah, uh, you think? Okay, well, uh, what about you, my compadre? Who do you think is the most rock and roll? Eat the uh, nice weather we're having lately. <laughs> That's right, compadre, you tell him! Behold the majesty of the rock and roll king of Hanamizaka! <gasps> Traitor! That's it, Paimon's not talking to you for the next minute! Blessed silence for one minute. Oh, don't promise you with a good time, Paimon. <laughs> Let's not argue anymore, shall we? Ito and Paimon, you both gave incredibly moving performances. I owe you all an enormous debt of gratitude. Without your help, this music festival never would have happened. I swear Yaimiko was in the advertising for this event. <laughs> Don't mention it, Jack Attack. Hey, if we hadn't met, I wouldn't even know what the spirit of rock and roll means. The spirit of rock and roll? So what does it mean? What does it mean for rock music to have a spirit? Ah, <sighs> you shouldn't have asked. It means you rock up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches. Just like me and Paimon. Yeah, that's obviously not what it means. Mr. Dvorak, could you please give us the official definition? Someone needs to take this guy down a peg. <laughs> <laughs> an, an official definition? I don't know that one exists. It's an emotional experience. As though you're hearing your own story speak to you through the music. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking that the spirit of rock and roll is, uh, well, like the Onikapito in the song. Having the courage to grab life by the horns and survive against all the odds. Guess I have a better sense of rock and roll than I thought. <laughs> what about you, Yoimiya? Oh, well, I thought it was gonna be all about that dog, but then the song didn't even mention it, so was that supposed to be symbolic? Like, if the dog didn't exist, maybe the injured animals didn't either. If there was no injured animals, then that means there was no war, which means the world is at peace. That's what she got from it. Oh my god. Oh, so for Yoimiya, the rock and roll spirit is all about world peace. No, that's that's uh, Miss USA. Uh, Shinobu, what about you? Me? Uh, I hadn't given it all that much thought. I was mostly worrying about whether those paper notes Boss threw into Tenshukaku are going to get him in trouble with the Tenryo Commission. Oh, they will. <laughs> that must mean that for Shinobu, the rock and roll spirit is about keeping the Arataki gang safe. Shinobu, seriously, you've got nothing to worry about. If the Raiden Jogan had seen any of those notes, she'd have come to join the party. Paimon agrees that you don't need to worry. Otherwise, Hazen definitely would have arrested Ito by now. Wait, where is that guy anyway? And where did Kokumi and Goro go? Oh, Doshin Shikanoin had to run back to the station, so he didn't get the chance to say goodbye to you guys. But he did leave something for you. It's over there. Okay. As and the for other the two? other two, they couldn't stick around because they had a government meeting to get to. Fair. They did but ask me to pass on their regards, though. That's a bit odd. The fact that these busy people all made time to attend the party is telling. Clearly, Ito wasn't exaggerating about the stature of the Arataki gang. It has nothing to do with the gang, it has to do with the Traveler, I'm sure. Ito, what can I say? It's truly been an honor to work with you. <laughs> well, Jack Attack, I can't take all the credit. Let's not forget the Traveler's part in all this. A lot of people only showed up because they knew she'd be here. Mm -hmm. If we do this again, we gotta make sure to find a way to get her on stage. Traveler doesn't have a voice. She can't perform. How's that sound, Capadre? Get that rock and roll spirit ready, because next time it'll be your turn to rock our collective socks off. 
She can sing. I pulled a chi-chi. Your Excellency, I believe the Tenriel Commission detective is... Don't worry about it, Goro. The Puppy Union was a joint venture between us and the Yashiro Commission. If we can maintain secrecy, then all the better for it. But that was never the main goal. We saved some lives, and that's what matters. Screw animal lives. I'm a little more concerned about the human lives during the war. Do you want to try saving them instead? Uh, I was more worried about the potential impact on your reputation, Your Excellency. After all, some of the lives we've saved belong to the Shogunate. If someone with an agenda finds out, it could cause an uproar. Don't worry. There might be a way to make it work out in our favor. Really? Times have changed. We and Narukami Island are supposed to be working together now. So it's not necessarily a bad thing if people discover that we were already cooperating with the Yashiro Commission even during the war. Hmm. I see. Goro, if you want my opinion, you should be more concerned about Miss Hina than you are about this. She about to tell him. Miss Hina? What makes you say that? I hear she works for That's Life magazine as well. She's young, popular, pretty, and she seems to be just as good at offering comfort to people in need as you are. So, it looks like you have some competition. <clears throat> Understood, Your Excellency. I will work hard to stay ahead of the competition. She did come. I have wondered if she would just look from afar. I learned something new today. I never knew that the Hydro Nation's rock music had the power to stir up lightning. <laughs> Miko, a few days ago, some strange paper notes flew into Tenshukaku, demanding that I hand over the dog. So I am here to see what on earth it was all about. <laughs> I just assumed you must have gotten yourself a pet puppy. She has one. You. <laughs> As it happens, I also received an invitation letter via Sara. Oh, she actually officially invited her? Okay. I've never heard the name Arataki before. Uh. <laughs> but they must be one of my subjects. And so I thought, why not grant them their wish? Because ah, it was eat the So asked. you came here to make a little Oni's wish come true, hmm? So tell me. How do you plan to respond to the Fontanian musician? It sounded to me like his music was commenting on the war. The war? I'm not sure we can give him the answer he would hope for. But if nothing else, I know that we must avoid another war at all costs. The people cannot be made to suffer like that again. Hmm. But what if the bigger war comes to pass? What then? If it cannot be avoided, then... I will have no choice but to fight. This foreshadowing? Hmm. Well, if that day comes... Oh my god, such random foreshadowing. I'm sure that everyone here tonight will fight by your side. Holy shit, I'm getting goosebumps. Oh my god. I mean, that day is years off, let's face it. We're, what did I say? We're in year four. We've got at least two more years, so... Uh, why are these objects change the lighting color? What lighting? I don't know what I'm looking at. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Oh, that's Ah, it just takes a long time to change, I see. Okay, well that's it. That is that event. Thankfully it wasn't too long. Oh, yes please. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, anyway, he left this for us, didn't he? Oh dear, my apologies. I received word from the commission. There's a new case that requires my immediate attention. As for that canine case you're concerned about, I've already got the evidence. But Yoriki Owada kept warning me not to reveal anything unrelated to unrelated persons, so... Sorry, but my lips are sealed. Ah, oh, but there's a but. It's really unfortunate, but I accidentally misplaced something again. You know, the details concerning my new... 
the details concerning new admissions to the Puppy Union. I believe it's nearby, so could you help me look for it? If you find it, please double check to see if it's indeed the evidence. And then find a time to return it to me, thank you so- What? What is he on about? I have no idea. Anyway, it's done. It's done. It's done. We can just emotionally move on from this. <sighs> it doesn't really matter what primer gems I got because they're not going to be used for quite some time, unfortunately. Got a whole seven out of it. Wait. But I have no interest. Nope. None whatsoever. I'm good. <laughs>